welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little video. It's kind of like a little recap. You guys know I'm obsessed with eyeshadow palettes and I thought it would be fun for me to share some of my current favorite eyeshadow palettes with you. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So the first palette I want to talk about is this guy. Shouldn't come as any surprise to anyone, but this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation Palette, and this is part of her Opulence collection. She came out with three mini palettes, and honestly, when I saw the pictures of these palettes, I was so unsure of all of them. I completely skipped out on the first three minis. Well, no, that's not true. I bought the Levian Rose, which is the pink palette, I'll try and remember to throw up a picture here if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. But she did three minis. I couldn't pick between the bronzy one. Um, there was a warm tone and then a cool tone. Two brown palettes that she came out with and I was not interested in any of those. I picked up the pinky one, was not a fan of the formula, returned it, and then never thought about those palettes again. Well then comes the Opulence Collection and I was on such a high, which I was on such a high on the Seduction palette that I just immediately wanted to pick up all of the minis, even though I wasn't quite in love with the shades and I remember not liking the original mini palette. So as it turned out, I'm not so in love with the blue one, not so in love with the pink one, but this guy, oh my gosh, this is such a must have. If you guys are balling on a budget, you don't want to buy a $125 palette. That is fine. This one is a real gem. I believe these are limited edition, so if you can get your hands on them, I would totally recommend it. This shade, it's called Corruption. It's so beautiful. It's like a duochrome shade, and it has like an amazing flip. I actually have a picture. I was able to catch the flip on camera in a makeup photo, so I will try and remember to insert that here as well, but I have full swatch party video of all three palettes on my channel which I will remember to link up in the cards for you guys but here are two shades swatch I just think this is such a fun holiday palette it just it screams holiday it's very basic the two matte browns are perfect for me um, I've got a crease shade and then a deepening shade or if you're darker than me this could be a really good crease shade for you um, the shimmers are beautiful and just great for every day. I can see you, you know, kind of using this if you have like an office job, but also still being able to amp up some looks at nighttime for going to like the holiday parties and things like that. This is definitely a must have palette for me this season. So I don't have a lot of like affordable palettes in this little video, but the one I am loving is the Good Sport palette by ColourPop. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking beautiful. This might be my favorite, one of my favorite palettes from them. My all-time favorite from them is um, I Think I Love You, which is just like the perfect neutral palette from them. And the formula is so good. But as far as like a fall palette, this is so good because ColourPop's done like berry shades over and over. But I love how they did some berries. They threw in this shade, which I swear is like the powder shadow version of like telepathy which is a uh, color pop super shock shadow i love how they threw in some neutrals there's still that bright gold shade which is a, gr a great lid color and just the combination of this just makes for such an epic fall palette i know color pop has launched so many other eyeshadow palettes since this one came out and i compare each of those palettes to this guy because i'm like oh it's just not as good as the good sport it, oh it's just not as good as good sport and i've been able to say no to the brown sugar, the Bretman Rock, both of the Bretman Rock ones. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about their holiday collection because I love like the packaging and I feel like I've been good for so long that I might break on the holiday collection. But this is an amazing palette and I cannot believe that it's only 16 bucks. I also really like the packaging as well. So if you get a chance to pick this one up, it's one of my all-time favorite ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. The next thing I'm including is the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors palette. You guys, I wore this palette in my collab video with Makeup Struggles and the amount of comments I got on what green eyeshadow I was wearing in that particular video, I've never gotten that many questions. It's so funny. Um, and that shade was Dirty Money right here. I actually filmed that look, how I did that look. So I will have that video posted. 
Um, if it's up, I will link it. If it's not up, subscribe <laughs> so you can get notified when that video goes up because I had so many people ask me what that eyeshadow was and it was this guy. It was Dirty Money and I am so in love with the new Dose of Colors formula. I swear, I don't like their quince, those like berries and blah blah blah, like the five pan palettes that they have. I do not like that matte formula, but their shimmer formula, I swear, so much different from the original Desi XKD collab. That palette sucked, and I never wanted to try Dose of Colors after that palette, but I watched Stephanie Nicole review the I Love Sarai e Dose of Colors collab, and she had mentioned that those shimmers were a lot different from the Desi X Katie shimmers, which prompted me to buy the I Love Sarai e palette. And I love that palette so much too, and I enjoyed the shimmers so much that I bought this one, even though I didn't need it. And true to form, these are such buttery, high-impact shimmer eyeshadows. This, again, is another great palette for holiday parties, but you can also, you know, tone it down, just wear the mattes to work, and then pop a shimmer on at nighttime. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Dirty Money. I also have worn this shade, which I believe is Try Me. Um, just such a great, easy palette. I literally did that eye look with two colors in this palette. I can't wait for you guys to see that video, but I really like this. I would totally recommend picking this up, or if there's an eyeshadow palette lover in your life that you are looking for a gift, you might want to pick this up for them. Okay, the next palette. This is definitely not a new palette, but it's new to me. I've had this for a long time. I picked it up during one of those 20% off coupons, and you guys already know I have a slight hoarding problem. So it sat in my collection, sat in my collection. Then I bought her Lemonade palette, and I used that one, but I never touched this. And with the announcement of the Berries and Cream palette that's launching, I decided, okay, Karen, like, the Berries and Cream palette has a very similar vibe to this palette, so I'm like, am I really gonna buy another palette that has a blue, that has a purple, that has, you know, some red tones, and I was like, I need to try the Latte palette. I cannot let it sit in my collection untouched and then buy another palette from her. I can't let that happen. So the last week I've been playing with this palette and oh my gosh, like all the hype. The reason I bought this palette is because so many people on YouTube were talking about what a good palette this is. And let me tell you, the hype is freaking real. This palette is so beautiful. And I know I already love her mattes. I don't know how to explain her matte formula, but it's like so creamy, it's unreal, and it blends. Okay, sorry, I do have like lip swatches, um, but this orange shade is so beautiful. It's called Pumpkin Spice. I put it in my crease today. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. It's such a great everyday palette, and I'm so glad I bought this. This made me realize what I love about Dominique Cosmetics, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and pick up the Berries and Cream palette. I really wish I knew when it was coming to Sephora or Ulta. This brand is available at Sephora and Ulta too, so you don't have to just buy it off her website if you don't want to. She's also launching two liquid lips with this. I won't be buying the liquid lipsticks, but I really want that palette. I'm going to try and be good and just wait until they come to Sephora so I can, if there's any reason to return it or something like that, I can just return it right away which uh, I really appreciate about shopping on those bigger websites. Now we're gonna get into kind of the more expensive territory. This is gonna be the cheapest out of the th last two, three palettes I need to talk about. So this guy is definitely one of the newer palettes on the market, honestly. When I saw this palette, when I saw the sneak peeks, I'm like, fuck. Cause I have this like love for Huda palettes, so I will, I. I knew, I kind of knew I was going to buy it, but when I saw it, I was like, god damn it, like, seriously, like, this is not going to work with my skin tone, but, you guys, I'm so glad I picked this guy up. I have a first impressions video, I will link up in the cards, I'm also planning on reviewing this palette. This palette is amazing, like, you can literally use this, again, every day for work, you can use the matte shades, and then you can amp it up with one of these pearl shimmer whatever the heck they're called i feel like so many people were dogging this palette because of the pearls in here saying like these glitters don't look eye safe blah 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 blah, blah. honestly i haven't had a single problem with them i will wear it with glittery glue if anything if i'm worried about fallout and stuff like that but i really haven't had to 
and I'm just obsessed with this palette and I feel like I definitely tried to convince as many people as I could to pick this up during the Sephora sale because if you can get it on a discount, why not? So I hope you guys picked it up and I hope you're enjoying that palette as well. Okay. You guys have already heard me talk your ear off, but again, so obsessed with this. If there is a makeup addict in your life that is a huge lover of eyeshadow, oh my gosh, you guys should get them this. They will love you and owe you forever. This is Natasha Denona's Gold Palette. And I don't even like Natasha Denona, and I'm happy I have this palette. This palette, I hope to get much more use out of next year. I want to do more looks with this. I don't care if you guys don't watch the videos, but this palette is dope AF, and it needs more love in my collection. The mattes are beautiful. This shade right here, I think it's called Dijon. Oh my god. I just love a good mustard. I can't help myself. This palette is bomb. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you except that I don't like Natasha Denona and I love this palette. Like I'm going to sit here and shamelessly tell you how much I love this palette and how much I think you would feel like this was the best gift on earth if you got it. So that's my spiel on that. And then my next expensive recommendation, again, you guys have heard me go on and on about this one. This is the Pat McGrath Bronze seduction palette and this is my collab palette. I am attempting to pan this in 2019 or so. So that project we are doing with a bunch of YouTubers. I will link information down below if you guys are interested but this is what my palette looks like and I'm obsessed with it. It's beautiful. It's again great for every day but I can see everyone rocking this during the holiday season. This has got me so hooked on Pat McGrath. Like, I could lose all of my other palettes and be just fine if I got to keep all my Pat, Pat McGrath palettes. And then Natasha Denona, okay, and I want Huda too. So maybe we need to work on that theory, but I love, love all of Pat McGrath's palettes. This one is just the one I'm panning, or I'm gonna attempt to pan. As you guys can see, I've not done a very good job so far, but I'm really enjoying this palette and I think it will complete anyone's makeup collection. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my little video. I love summarizing stuff like this and just kind of giving you guys like the highlights of um, these items. I love eyeshadow palettes so I thought it would be in my best interest to tell you guys about some of the ones I've been loving recently. Let me know if you have any of these palettes. Let me know your favorite. Let me know if there is a palette that I need to check out or maybe I already have it and just didn't include it in this list. Either way, leave me a comment. I love reading them and I will see you guys in my next video which will be up the day after tomorrow because I upload every other day. So you do get quite a bit of content from me. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and I will see you soon. Bye guys!